welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tanya. I'm a musician, blogger, passive income and SEO specialist. And today I'm going to be talking to anyone out there who runs a client based business, especially private music teachers, because that's part of what I do for a living is I run a waitlist only private music studio. It's a big studio. I have lots of students and I'm going to be walking you step by step through how I use Notion to keep my studio organized and to streamline things. Now, like I said, I'm going to be talking lots about private music lessons, but any client based business can use this same technique. And I'm going to show you how to set it up from start to finish. No BS, no trying to make it look extra fancy and pretty, just bare bones what you need to have an organized studio. So grab your cup of coffee and let's get into it. Okay, so I've pulled up my private lessons dashboard here in Notion and I've got some stuff set up right here and I'm going to walk you through exactly how I do this because I use this to organize my music studio every single year and this can be used to organize really any client based business. So you can see I've got some former um, rosters here. This is the current roster for this year. I am not going to open that because it's got personal information in it that I'm not sharing on the internet of my students. Um, we're going to do that ourselves here in a second. And I have QuickBooks here. So if I just click on this card, it literally takes me to a link that will take me directly to my bookkeeping software so that I can ex access it right here within Notion. So um, I also have the beginnings of a student repertoire list here. So if you look, we've got student repertoire. We have, it's entitled the moment you can put the student's name, you can put what technique book they're in, the exercises they're working on, any other repertoire. So you can keep a log of who's doing what. And the great thing is all of this is searchable. So we're going to start by how I do my roster in general. Okay, so I'm going to create a new card here. Okay, and it's going to be sample studio roster. Okay, so I'm going to put a table in here. So I'm going to do backslash inline database. This is what I want. Okay, and here it is. So um, student name, Johnny Smith. Oh, let's throw another one in. Rosie Jones. We're going to just make people up, right? Mandy, uh, I don't know, Lee. Okay, so now this next section is already marked as tags, which I think is wonderful. So we're going to make this what day they have lesson. So um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't teach on weekends, so we'll just do it there. So now that those are in and they're all color coded and maybe we don't want two blues. So we'll take Tuesday and what we're going to do, we're going to go over here and click the three dots and we're going to change Tuesday to green. And maybe we don't want a gray in there. So we'll take Thursday and we'll pick a color. We'll make it yellow. Okay. So we've got those taken care of. So let's say Johnny is on Monday. Rosie, click on the tag. Maybe she's on Wednesday and then maybe Mandy is on Thursday. Bam, that's in there. And I can change this too. I don't want it to be called day, uh, tags. Lesson day. Okay, so now we're going to click this plus here. And we're going to just have this be a text box. And we're going to call this lesson time. Okay, so maybe Johnny's lesson is at 3 o'clock. Rosie's is at 3 3.30 and Mandy's is at 2 o'clock. Okay, so you've got their lesson time. Now, we don't need all of this space, right? So we can get more on the screen just by clicking here like any spreadsheet you've ever used and just dragging these columns. Okay, so maybe we want more information though. So let's do, 
a payment method. Now I'm going to do the tags feature again on here. So I can't find it. So I'm just going to put tag. There it is. We're going to collect that. Now we're going to change the, the name of it to payment method. Okay. So for payment method, like I said, these are tags, so we can put in multiples here. So maybe you take Venmo, Zelle, whoa, I think I messed that up. Oh, here we go. We want it to be a multi-select here, okay? So we're gonna go with multi-select for payment method. Okay, so now we have Venmo. Uh, maybe you wanna take Zelle. Maybe you wanna take Cash. That's not how you spell cash, so let's try that again. Let's do check and PayPal. I'm just picking some random ones. You choose what you want. Now, once again, maybe you don't want these to be this color, and we don't need cash spelled wrong, so we're going to click here, and we're just going to delete that one. Okay, remove. So cash, let's make it green because, you know, why not? PayPal and Venmo are both blue in general, so we're gonna make that one blue, but I want PayPal to look different. Um, let's make Zelle red and, actually let's make it pink, and then let's take PayPal here and make PayPal purple. Okay, so now we have the different colors of how they pay. So just close out however they've been paying you. So maybe Johnny pays through Venmo, Venmo, Rosie pays by cash, and then Mandy's gonna pay you by Zelle, okay? Now, maybe we want some more information. So, parent name, that's a good thing, right? And that should be a text, okay? Now we're gonna add the email, because you gotta have that phone number. Okay, so now we've got everything we need here. I can make this larger to make it easier to see. We can also continue to pull these down so that we have more in our grasp. Okay, so we've got our basic roster set up. Now I'm gonna come up here and click on Johnny. You see where it says open? We're gonna click open. Okay, so now this is Johnny's information. So maybe Johnny's email address is 123 at gmail.com. We'll put that there. Maybe Johnny's parent's name is Bill Smith. And the phone number is, you know, 8675309. Because why not, right? Now, we have all of the basic information for Johnny right here. So this is where... I start adding my student notes. Okay, so um, you can easily do titles and tags here by hitting the slash button. And I start out with an H2 tag for a medium section heading. And right here, maybe these are Johnny's goals for the semester. No, maybe you didn't want to do that. You can still click here and turn into, and you can change it however you want, an H1 heading, an H3. You can make it a page, a to-do list, etc. cetera. Um, once you get good at this, you're gonna remember the shortcuts and it makes it a lot faster. So maybe I want some bullets. So I'm gonna start typing the word bullet and here's the bulleted list. So we can put Johnny's goals here. Blah, blah, okay. So now maybe it's time for the lesson date, so. August 25th, 2023. Now this is gonna start to look clunky as we go. So I like to add some color. So where we have goals here, we can click the dots and go down to color. You can just turn goals blue if you want, or you can always highlight it. So maybe we make it blue that way. Um, however you want to do it. Same thing, I highlight. I always highlight the date so that I can quickly see what was assigned in the last lesson. So maybe you want your, your headings to be this color, that to be that color. Now, when I'm doing the assignment, I prefer to use the checkbox feature. So we're going to do slash, and I'm going to start writing to do. So we're going to do a to-do list, okay? So 
maybe Johnny is going to practice the B flat scale and arpeggio. And I could put notes as I go. Now, maybe you want repertoire in here. So we're going to come and put that up here. Okay, so maybe we want this repertoire to be a little bit bigger. So we're going to turn this into an H2, okay? Maybe we want it also to have a heading like the goals. So we can come up here and change the color to blue. And now we start typing out his repertoire. But maybe we don't want a ton of space taken up up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this a toggle list right here. And remember, if you forget about this, you can always come in here, turn into, and find what you want. Okay. Oh, I like the toggle heading here. Okay. So let's, let's do that instead. Let's take repertoire, turn into a toggle heading to. Okay, so then we're going to take this then and we're going to turn it into a bulleted list. Okay, so maybe Johnny is in piano book one, but I don't want all these to be color. Maybe we want to change the color to just default black. Okay. Apparently I can't do that if it's in a toggle list and that's okay. Piano book one, super easy solo and major scales and arpeggios. Okay. So we have this. All you have to do is toggle this list and bam, his repertoire goes away. But that also took this away. So we want to pull this out of the toggle list. So we're going to pull that down here. So you just drag and drop. Okay. So now we should be able to toggle the repertoire. You could also do that with goals. Maybe we want to take this and turn it into a toggle heading. We can toggle that. So now we have all of these assignments. Technically, you can even take this and turn it into a toggle if you want to just go wild. Okay, so maybe it's a toggle list. Then you would grab this and put it inside there. It's going to stay highlighted that way. So however you want to do it. There are a ton of different ways, but this is a great way to organize your studio. You have all the contact information and my favorite thing, it depends on what computer you use. I use a Mac or if you're using your phone because you can use this on your phone. At the end of the lesson, I just simply come up here and I grab their assignment. Let's take this off toggle because I don't know if it's going to work as well. Just regular text. Okay, so what I do is I come up here and I grab their assignment and I copy it and then I just open up my text messages and text the assignment to the student. And it makes everything super easy. That's it. It's super easy. You can make it as fancy and aesthetic as you want or you can keep it just simple, minimal, and basic. But either way, this is a great way to organize your client-based business and make your life a little easier. So until next time, peace out.